So, just turned up to the nature reserve. Let's go over what I've got with me. So, the new OM1 Mark II camera, the 90 millimeter macro lens, fantastic lens, got this last year, so sharp, so happy I've got this. We've got the Godox V360, no, V360? No, it's the V863 on the top, sorry about that, with a Cygnus Tech diffuser. It's hard to keep track of all the names, it's like same robots all the time. Now, let's get back here and get my camera bag. So, I've got a tiny tripod. Now, this is one I got off, I think, TikTok or Amazon, flips out you've got a little leg like this bush now it's not the stable the most stable thing in the world because some of you might have seen my videos of it blowing over in the wind a lot of the time or because it was on even ground but it can come in handy because it's so easy to just set up and do videos for stuff like this i've then also got this bad boy now i've got this off tiktok shop i was going to get a dgi um gimbal but i thought they were quite expensive and uh, um TikTok was showing some for like 50 quid. Now look at this, you just flick it out, hold the button, and it gets in position. So good, man. I'm gonna try this out, see what see what it's like, but um, for 40 quid, you can't really grumble. So yeah, got that in the bag. I've also got a tiny mini tripod now. I was stupid enough not to look at the weight limit, so my camera is actually too heavy for it. So this is what I've got. So what I tend to do, Instead of putting them out like this for the camera to stay on, I actually bungle it all together like this and just use it to lean on to stack. So it's like a monopod, really. But yeah, got that. I've got extra goodies. I've got some some of these for backgrounds. So I use these for backgrounds, colors. I've um, got some clamps. I've got a chest mount. Little lens cloth. So yeah, I've got a few things in there that I just keep with me all the time. I need to get a bigger bag, though, really. This bag is too small. And I've had it for years, and really I should invest in something a bit better. But I always just keep going with something till it breaks and it hasn't broke yet. So, <laughs> right, I think it's best that we go outside, start taking some photos, have a walk about. Gonna have to get on my walking boots because it is quite muddy, but the weather looks okay, and we'll see what we can find. Flip a few logs, see if there's anything there. Ciao for now. See, I'm currently walking through the nature reserve now. I've got quite a lot of stuff on. Um, including my cotton carrier harness with the OM1 Mark II. Helps a lot with uh, neck and stuff, but yeah, it's not the not the best today. It's it's pretty muddy, pretty wet. I'm currently using the gimbal for the first time, which is pretty nice. I can turn it around like this, and it seems pretty stable. So happy with that. Really cheap purchase on TikTok shop. You wouldn't think you'd get anything good on there, like. I've been on there a few times and seen little gizmos and gadgets and I thought, you know what, I'll try it this time, I'll see what it's like and yeah, it's not too bad for, for 40 quid. Love a bargain, but anyway. Look at these fungi, I don't know what they're called. Something to do with pig ears, I think. But they definitely feel like one. Look at that. Very weird. Very odd. Nature, you're odd, bro. So I'm currently walking through the forest area now this is where I'm going to find the logs to flip so i'm just looking for dead wood around which i found over here just now so i'm gonna go through the through the branches and see if we can flip it and find some cool stuff now i'm gonna try and record it whilst i do it um so we can see kind of see what we can find but um you've just seen all of my forehead so you're lucky so let's have a look at these logs and uh, see what we can find which are just yeah so we're going to flip these see what we can find underneath these ones if we can't find anything then i'll just find some more and see what we can do so i've just flipped this log here and i found this tiny little beetle i don't know if you can see him but he's just there so hopefully we'll be able to see with the camera me photo stacking it so try and get up over the camera for you so first of all i'll find the insect which is can be pretty tricky when you're this zoomed in, but there he is. There's his face. Now I, I then magnify my way in so I can see the front of his head. So I try to fill the frame as much as possible, and then I press the button to focus that. So 
So I held my breath throughout that, but as you can see, I'm doing it handheld with the eight stops of stabilization with the OM1 Mark II. It makes it really easy to take photos like this. So I'll do it again. Take a big breath in. And there we have it. So because of the cold temperatures, this guy doesn't really want to move. So it means that we can get our image. So now what I'll do is I'll look back at the images that I've taken. Just scroll back and make sure that I got the eyes in focus. So as you can see, millimeter by millimeter, we have got the eyes in focus. I'm happy with that.